Hello, everybody. So today we are going to start looking at the atmosphere. So in your Edmodo, you are going to go to the post that's importance of the atmosphere. There is a link for the reading. There is my email you can send um, your completed assignments to. And there are the questions that you need to complete. So the atmosphere is a mixture of gases that surrounds the planet. So it's also called air. And the gases in the atmosphere are nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide. So nitrogen is the most prevalent in the atmosphere. The second most prevalent is oxygen. And then we have a few trace amounts of some other gases as well. So um, the atmosphere is going to allow us to live. So, um, well, I already said most of the atmosphere is nitrogen, um, but carbon dioxide and oxygen are going to be the gases that we need to live. So plants are going to need the carbon dioxide to carry out photosynthesis, where they use sunlight to change carbon dioxide and water into food. All right, so they're able to make their own food. So photosynthesis ends up releasing oxygen. So if we didn't have photosynthesis, we wouldn't be able to breathe. Um, other living things are going to eat the plants, um, and they also need the oxygen plants release to get energy out of the food. So that's the whole cellular respiration thing, if you remember from biology. So, and plants also need the oxygen to carry out photosynthesis. All right. So the atmosphere is going to protect living things from the sun's rays. Um, so gases are going to either reflect or absorb the strongest rays of sunlight. Um, and then gases in the atmosphere are going to surround Earth like a blanket and hold in the sun's warmth. So these are what you call greenhouse gases. These are the ones they surround the earth and hold in warmth. So um, they keep some of the sun's heat out during the day and they hold the heat in during the night so it doesn't radiate out, in, radiate out into space. All right. So the atmosphere and earth's water. So um so in the app in the water cycle water vapor is going to rise from earth's surface into the atmosphere in the atmosphere it's going to cool and then the water vapor may condense um, into droplets or it may form clouds and if you get heavy enough water droplets you can get precipitation all right so this is how water kind of moves all around Earth and um, the evaporation is how it gets into the atmosphere, right? Then it just completes the whole cycle. Without the atmosphere, we wouldn't have any weather. Um, and weather happens because the atmosphere is going to heat up more in certain places than others. Um, and then weather is going to also cause weathering with the wind and the snow and uh, precipitation and all that stuff. But we talk about weathering, we talked about weathering earlier, so I won't get too much into that. So finally, something you might not have known um, is because of the atmosphere, we are able to hear things. So sound travels in waves and Sound waves cannot travel through empty space, but they can travel through gases. So the gases that are in the air are going to allow us to hear the sounds in our world. So hopefully that makes sense. Make sure you finish your assignment and turn it into me.